Introduction to Gases and the Early Gas Laws. All right, so let's talk just a little bit about gases. And basically, gases are a phase of matter, and they do not have a fixed volume nor a fixed shape. So they'll take up the volume of the container and whatever the shape of that container is. And generally, we describe gases in terms of four observables, or four things that we can measure. And one of those is the pressure, the pressure of the gas. Another is the temperature, the volume of the gas, and the moles of the gas. Early gas laws described these macroscopic observables or characteristics kind of relative to each other. So we're going to talk about three of them. One is Boyle's Law, and that describes the relationship between pressure and volume. And that's assuming that the temperature and the amount of gas is fixed. So we have the same moles of gas, same temperature, and then we're going to look at just pressure and volume. Charles' Law describes the relationship between temperature and volume of a gas, and that's assuming that the pressure stays the same along with the moles of gas. And then finally, Avogadro's law says that one mole of any gas under standard temperature and pressure will take up a volume of 22.4 liters. When we talk about gases, one of the observables we're going to be looking at is pressure, and so we need to have some familiarity with these pressure units. And so I've chosen some of my favorites, okay? So one atmosphere is equal to 760 torr, which is also equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. And then finally, all of these are equal to 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth pascals. PA is the abbreviation for pascals. And so you should really especially practice with the ones I've given here, atmospheres, tors, and millimeters of mercury. Okay, so let's do a few examples, all right? So pause the presentation and try to convert these units, okay? So you're going to go from atmospheres to tor, from tor to atmospheres, and then finally from pascals to tor. Okay, so the first one. So we're going to use the relationship 760 tor is equal to one atmosphere. Now we need to cancel out atmosphere, so remember we're going to put that on the bottom of the conversion factor. So here's our atmospheres, 0.378 atmospheres. One atmosphere is equal to 760 tor, and so we're going to end up with 287 tor. All right, so we can see our atmospheres go away and we're en we end up in tor. All right, so now let's go the other direction, okay? So we're going to take 6.4 times 10 to the negative 2 tor, and we're going to convert that to atmospheres. And we're still going to use that same relationship, 760 tor is equal to 1 atmosphere, but this time we need to cancel out tor. See, we're starting in tor, so we're going to put tor on the bottom. All right, so 6.4 times 10 to the negative 2 tor, 760 tor is equal to 1 atmosphere. The tor go away and we end up in atmospheres, and we end up with 8.4 times 10 to the negative fifth atmospheres, okay? And then finally, our last one, we're going to convert 106.9 pascals to tor, and so we're going to use 760 tor is equal to 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Now, this time we need to cancel out pascals, okay? So we're starting in pascals, we need to cancel out pascals, so we're going to put that on the bottom, and 760 tor on top, and we're going to end up with 0.8018 tor. Okay, so now let's talk about these early gas laws. Okay, so I'm going to start with Boyle's Law, then go to Charles' Law and Avogadro's Law. All right, now Boyle's Law states that the pressure of a gas is inversely related to its volume when the temperature and the amount of gas are held constant. So when the volume decreases, the pressure is going to increase, and vice versa. Okay, so you decrease the volume, you push the piston down and decrease that volume, and the pressure inside that container is going to go up. All right, so that makes sense. Okay, so let's do a small practice problem using that equation. So a gas has a pressure of 560 torr when it's held in a three and a half liter cylinder. 
Now you need to calculate the pressure of the gas in TOR when the volume of the cylinder is increased to 6.3 liters. So pause this and give it a try and then we'll go through it. Okay, so now because we are relating pressure and volume, we're going to use Boyle's Law. Okay, and the very first step is to figure out what you have and what you're calculating. Okay, and P1 and V1, those would describe our initial conditions, and then this pair describes our final conditions. So we were given an initial pressure and an initial volume, okay? And we were also given the final volume, and we are actually looking for that final pressure. Okay? So let's plug everything in, all right? So here are the initial conditions, okay, P1 and V1, and then P2 or PF, P final, is 6, and then the volume, final volume is 6.3 liters. So go ahead and solve for P2, and you end up with 311 torr. So you, you should make sure that you get that answer. All right, now in Charles' law, the Kelvin temperature of a gas is directly related to the volume. Now, it's really important that you use Kelvin in these problems, okay? Don't use degree C. You cannot have negative temperature in these problems. All the gas laws use Kelvin, okay? And the pressure and the amount of gas are constant in Charles' Law. So we don't change the moles of gas, and we also don't allow the pressure to change. So when the temperature of a gas increases, its volume increases, okay? So we can actually visualize this in the opposite direction. Let's say we fill a balloon inside a nice warm house in the winter and we walk outside where the temperature is lower and our balloon will shrink a little bit depending on how cold it is, okay? And so as the temperature decreases, the volume of the gas decreases. All right, so here's a little problem practice problem for this one. So we have a gas held at a temperature of 15 degrees C and it's held in a 2.36 liter cylinder. Now we want to calculate the new temperature of the gas when the volume is expanded to 8.32 liters. Okay, and remember we're not allowing the pressure to change. So the gas is starting off at 15 degrees C in a 2.36 liter container. We're going to go ahead and expand it to 8.32 liters and see what happens to the temperature. Okay, so we're going to use Charles' law for this problem. And again, let's go ahead and identify what we are given and what we are calculating. Okay, so here's our initial temperature and our initial volume. We we're given that. We're looking for the final temperature and we were given the expanded volume, our final volume. Now, again, very, very important. We need to convert from degree C to Kelvin. For gas laws, we always, 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 always have to use degree C, okay? And the conversion for that is to the temperature in degree C plus 273. It's technically 273.15, but we're just gonna round. So, and that's gonna equal 288 Kelvin, okay? So again, temperature in gas laws is always in Kelvin. Okay, so let's plug everything in. Now that we've converted our temperature, okay, so there's our Kelvin temperature, and plug everything into our problem, all right? Solve for T2, the final temperature, and we're gonna end up with 1015 Kelvin, okay? Now get to back to degree C, we're just going to subtract off that 273. So in the end, we're going to end up with 742 degrees Celsius. Okay, so finally, Avogadro's Law. So the volume and pressure of a gas at constant temperature is directly proportional to the number of moles of gas. Okay, uh, when the gas is under standard conditions, one mole of any ideal gas, and we're going to talk about ideal gases, but one mole of any ideal gas has a volume of 22.4 liters, okay? And then here's just a little cartoon to help you remember, all right? So one atmosphere, standard pressure, zero degrees C, standard temperature, and that volume of one mole of gas is going to be 22.4 liters.